What's up, everybody? It's Lethal Lottery Day. What does that mean? It means I have no idea who I'm wrestling and what kind of match it is. But I'm going to tell you, I'm having a horrible day. I'm running late. I couldn't find socks that match, so I'm wearing two unmatched socks. I cut my head shaving. I don't know if you can see that, but what a crappy day. I haven't even had time to eat, but got to run. It's showtime. Now, cue the intro. I'm a Canadian indie wrestler. You probably have never heard of me and I'm winding down my career. Follow along to see my journey. Just found out the change room tonight is outside. Sounds like a fun time. I just got to the venue. You can see it's over there, Rookie Sports Bar. Parked beside a trailer. I don't know if you can see, but it's full of beer cans. Uh, well, not full, but it's got a lot of beer cans in there. I plan to collect those at the end of the night. I'm at Rookie's Sports Bar. Check out the posters. CW Wrestling is here. So at the venue, checking out the setup there. Check the young guys have it said, oh, is that Caveman Cole? Yeah. You're in Winnipeg, you're at a bar? Uh-huh. Oh, nice to see you, nice to see you. Oh yeah, who's that? This guy's full of wood, did you bring me a sandwich? I'm hungry, I haven't eaten all day. Bro dip! Don't be the guy that brings wrist tape to a wrestling show because everyone else is going to borrow it. Hey, thanks for the wrist tape. Hey, happy to do it. So I'm at Rookies. I'm just stepping into the locker room. You can see my, my bag and my water and my chair close to the dumpster. Is there anything good in the dumpster here? Let's check it out. A couple of aluminum cans. No needles though. Do me a solid. If you can't buy me a beer and bologna sandwich, follow me on social media. Things that are happening in the dressing room here. What are you doing? What's that? <laughs> what's he what's he doing? He's reading the parking lot. Yeah, he's just trying to clean it up for the boys, you know. You're a good guy. I don't care what Danny team guy here. I don't care what Danny Duggan says about you. He's paying his dues. <laughs> not eating that looks like a free salad <laughs> fun fact fun fact i can do six degrees of kevin bacon without fail let me have it jack nicholson oh jack nicholson's in a few good men with kevin bacon <laughs> <laughs> that was a, that was a one that was a oh he's you're, one on the on the kevin bacon scale you're the man there one we step, go one you're step. the man throw me another one throw me another one um Okay, I'm no good with actors' names. The guy from Gladiator. Russell Crowe? Yeah, Russell Crowe. Oh, okay. How about this one? Russell Crowe is in Les Miserables yep. with Hugh Jackman, yep. who's in X-Men First Class with Kevin Bacon. You like bacon? I like bacon. <laughs> Very good. That's a fun fact. Is this gonna make sense? No, of course not. Is none. this gonna make sense? Oh. Nothing no, at none. all is gonna make sense to me. That's no. what makes it fun. Yes. Yeah, it's wrestling. That's cool. why we're here. You guys are gonna be famous now. Oh, wow, well, that's good too. <laughs> how, many people, how many people watch your Sit. vlog now? I think usually I get like 300 views. That's like big time, wow. right? Send Rob your wow. receipts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bring your boots, kid. Brian Jewell. What the fuck are you calling kid? I'm just saying, <laughs> I'm just saying. Ryan Jewell, the man is here. What are you doing? I'm videoing you, the man. Why? <laughs> don't chop me, don't chop me, don't chop me. Hey, Brian. Hey.
Oh, oh, thanks, brother. Thank you. Cheers, man. Thank you very much. Oh, fuck. I'm, oh, fuck. I'll just cool it off right now like this. Oh, oh, brother. Brother, brother. Uh, uh. <laughs> So on this channel, I started out talking a lot about bucket lists. So I've got here the man, the myth, the legend, Big Balls Burton. So Mr. Burton, take it away. Tell us about your bucket list. All right. So for me, Adrian Burton, my accomplish for sure, I got to face somebody kind of big, you know, somebody who's been known and around the world a bit more than just, you know, Canada, whether it be from Mexico, from Europe, Japan, anywhere, somewhere big would be a pretty good one. Uh, winning a singles or tags title would be good. Got to find the right partner, but definitely looking at some gold in the future, hopefully. Hey, we teamed a little bit. We didn't win a title, but maybe I'm not the right guy, I guess. I don't know. I think we had some things there, but like we clashed a bit. But, you know, you never know. We could always try again. I think we're wrestling against each other in Dolphin. Sorry to derail this. Actually, I, th I think you might be correct. Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, you know what? Like, that's just it. The best the best friendships start with fights, right? That's right. So, so you never know. But so you, yeah. you want to wrestle someone that's from a different country? Yeah, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, a different country and uh, win some gold in awesome. some capacity, yeah. So on this vlog, I've seen your kids on the show. They're super cute. You want to take them on the road with you or...? I wouldn't mind, you know, some places they like to, they love the shows. They love to come yeah. out. Like, uh, they're looking forward to like October 15th. Uh, you got that show coming up, the yeah. charity show. Oh, nice. Uh, that happens on my daughter's birthday. Oh, so she's nice. excited. She's talking about birthday wrestling and oh, everything. She thinks cool. it's all for her now too. It's great. Oh, super awesome. Yeah. You know what'd be cool? I think you should go to like places that has like wrestling and Disneyland or something. You could like wrestle and then take them to Disneyland or See, something. See, well, that's the thing. That's the awesome thing about Lilac Resort too. Like oh, yeah, when we yeah, did yeah. that show, like, I brought my kids down and everything. They got to watch my big match with O'Doyle last year. Cool. So hopefully this year we get to do something really awesome too. Awesome. So I don't know if anybody's told this, but you've improved a lot since I've been watching you. So you're doing great things. I wish you all the luck. Awesome. I'm always trying to get better and always working harder to learn more. Thank you very much, my Thank friend. Thank you. You're starting. Is Daniel giving you your drink yet? No. No? Yeah. After all these, these vlogs, many months, no drink? It's been about a year. Well, here you go. Thank you. <laughs> You're a good guy. I don't care what anybody says about you. Oh my god. So, nice, nice, nice. Mr. Twister. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this your referee debut? This is my referee this debut. Is my referee debut. Is oh, awesome. Debut. You're going to be on yes, YouTube Big and Famous, right? Oh, yeah. So, What's your referee sure. name? I'll make sure I don't have one. Oh. Someone needs to give me one. Put yourself over. What's your name then? Eddie. My name is Eddie. Eddie the ref. Eddie the ref. You've heard it here first. <laughs> he has nowhere to be found. Hopefully, he's at the ATM. What's ATM mean? Anderson Tyson Board. Oh. Had to go on first, sitting gear this whole time. Hey, Joe. Pro tip don't go on first and the last at a wrestling show. <laughs> Maybe the mosquitoes are because of the dumpster behind you. Wow, the sweat, the dumpster, pro wrestling locker room. <laughs> you just need some Axe body spray and everything will be fine. I can't afford that. Mike Fast! Hey, how's it going? The Mike? hammer! Oh, we're helping Kevy Chevy fucking oh, shit. Just don't cut off this fucking watch, boy. Fucking hell yeah. You getting Kevin in the match? <laughs> you getting in the match? I should, I should Look wrestle. Why isn't my name in the fucking hat? Oh, I, I can fucking I gotta, go. I you don't even understand. I'm fucking fully good. Beat that stuff out, man. What? Time! It's time! It's Beer and bologna sandwich. Tyler Rose, we're doing a beer and bologna sandwich with no beer, no bologna. So what? Tyler, I know, so, so the show's ending, there's music, we had to go. It's okay, it's okay, I'm in. So now I got some questions. Oh, oh, How embarrassing. Okay. I love it. Hold on. Jeez. Mellow function in the junction. It's still good, keep it going. No, I, I, it's over. So, I'm gonna ask you some questions wrestling related, okay? And non wrestling related, okay? Now, usually, pro tip, I usually have a little phone down here where I read them. I've got nothing. So this is straight from the heart, like my good friend Brian Adams says. Okay. So the first question for you is AEW, yep, or WWE? I have to be honest, 
AEW. How come? How come? Well, I feel that WWE has been putting on the same matches for like years. I mean, Rock and Roman, Rock and Roman, Rock and Roman. It's the same thing as the John Cena Orton matches from like you know ten years ago. So I feel like the product has gotten stale. So when, when you go to AEW and you see the mixture of guys that wouldn't get a chance in WWE, like Eddie Kingston, Jungle Boy, Luchasaurus, guys like that. Matter of fact, if you, if you actually do your history re uh, lessons, Luchasaurus was actually in NXT, but he was deemed, I guess, didn't fit the mold or whatever they wanted, and he got released. But then he went to AEW. So I feel AEW is well, the alternative, but it's a fresher product and it's kind of making WWE to step up their game a little bit because of all these changes. Easy question. Sure. What's your favorite color? Red. Why? Why? <laughs> uh, I've always looked good in red and uh, not wearing any red. Well, I know. I, I came from work. I came from work. But I like red. Uh, personal reasons. I can't devote some other stuff. But that's just been my always go-to color. Okay, wrestler. Chomp or forearm? Well, uh, forearm all the way. Forearm. Why? I've taken a lot of mean chops over the years, and it's just there's no way there's no way to prepare for it. When you get a veteran like this or Scorp, and he just puts you in the corner and just you know what I mean? I I remember the very first time I ever stepped in the ring. Okay. It was against Antonio Scorpio Jr. He was the heavyweight champion of PCW at the time. And uh, happy birthday, Scorp. I'm gonna post that on birthdays. Woo! It's Scorp's birthday. Happy birthday, sir. Anyways, and uh, I may have not listened. Something went off what we were supposed to do, and he threw me in the corner, and he said, "You fucked up, kid." And at that point, he laid into me, and he only gave me two. And I looked down and my chest was bleeding because there was broken blood vessels. So honestly, sir, forearms all the way. Forearms. You seem like unless, a... unless it's from you, because there was a history. There's special history between me and Rob in this building. We don't talk about it. We don't it talk about it. Like that. But that's why I agreed to beer and baloney without the beer and baloney. For sure, for sure. Now you look like a guy that likes music, so what's your favorite kind of music? Metal, all the way. And, and your female favorite artist. Metallica. Metallica? Oh man, when I was like playing like high school volleyball, we used to like just warm up the like symphony of destruction. Really? Yeah, yeah. Now, last wrestling question. Sure. So how old are you first? Because I need to game. I am turning 28 in September. 28. So 27 and a bit. It's so Cody Rhodes. Yes. Or Dean Ambrose. Yeah. Yeah. What? Contrary to what people may think, I have to go with Dean Ambrose, aka John Moxley, on this one. Um, I feel he's not really given. Oh, show the shirt. Show the shirt. Let's cut it off for a second here. Oh, look at that. Nice, nice. My boy Mox. That's my boy. <laughs> but why, why, why? Um, the reason why is because I feel people don't give Mox enough credit as they do Cody. I feel because Cody has that Rhodes name, he's already put up here, whereas Mox is like, oh, he's just another indie guy. He's just another deathmatch guy. Exactly. And they don't give him enough credit where credit's due. But if you actually watch some of John Moxley's stuff, the way he's able to put psychology into his stuff and make things believable, and he truly has the confidence and the believability when it comes to his character, he truly is unhinged, violent John Moxley. And I feel Vince never gave him a chance at the WWE. Like, the Shield was great. The Shield was amazing as a unit. But do you honestly think that if you each push, Seth got his, his run with the authority, Roman got his, he's still getting his run. Where's Dean? Right? Do it Vince, Exactly, exactly. And well, we all know what happened with Vince, so let's not go there. I got boy. He with Vince. He he, he reported this bit, Vince. Three times, copy your own. He owes you a receipt, channel. my man. I'm sorry. So, last thing, I usually don't ask this, but I'm trying to be a good YouTuber. Where can we find you on social media? I actually deleted all my social media. So we can't find you. You're like an invisible man. I am. Thank you so much, invisible man, and peace out. Thank you for videoing that for me. You did not break my phone. It's an extra phone. Thank awesome. you. Well,
Thank you guys for coming all the way from Rivers. Good show tonight. Thank you very much. Maybe you're going to come with me to Tennessee. I would, I would love to. Oh, oh let's day. go. One day. What are you doing here? Were you at the show? No, I just I came here for beer. I accidentally didn't know there was wrestling, and then, yeah, there was fucking wrestling. Nice! What a surprise. Oh, man, I gotta beep that out now, but great to see you, bro. <laughs> Say hi to your uncle. Hell yeah. I actually got it from a rescue, my dog, and they told me it was uh, Black Lab. There's actually a pit bull. What's your name? What's your name? Oh, you're so cute. Oh, my dog's gonna be... Yeah, no, that was what oh. we're did the do did did he watch the wrestling show? Yeah. yeah. Any guys get a pickup? Oh, you got, why? We're we're all gonna leave that last. Oh, <laughs> we should let dogs in. I could have. Tyson, what's in your hand? Pizza. Who's that for? For the champ. Oh, I'm not the champ, but I'm gonna eat a couple pieces. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Oh yeah. Rob did a good job today. Oh, good, thank you. I did the tried. job. That's right. I did the awesome. job. Oh. Now we're going to the electric car. That's no, not my electric car today. But there's a bunch of beer cans in that trailer we're gonna grab. Oh yeah. yeah. I'll squish them for yeah. you. Awesome. Is that Baron Von Meaner in the background there? No, that's um. <laughs> that's, um <laughs> Look at this. You can't see it now, but these are beer cans. Oh, oh yeah. Look at these beer cans here. Oh, did you close my trunk? Come on, man. Oh, my wife's gonna think I was drinking all these beers. So now there's video. There's more than just two guys, too. Now there's actual video of me getting these beer cans out of this random trailer that I'm parked beside. Oh, yeah. One, two. But she asks me, we'll be able to say, no, no, no. These are actual beer cans that I'm not drinking. Look at that. Okay, I'm gonna cut the video. You guys wanna see me grab all these cans. It's a good score. You've got mail. You've got mail. So I'm in the car and I'm honest, I'm running late and I need to finish this vlog once I get home, but I forgot to get an email question from anybody to put on the vlog. So we're gonna do the you got mail, but it's gonna be a question. So John, Yes. Do you have a question for me? Uh, what is your dream match and which wrestler would you like to wrestle with? My dream match? Oh, Legend. that's a... That's a... Ah, uh, a Terry Funk. I'd love to wrestle Terry Funk or... No, no, Macho Man Randy Savage, although I wouldn't have a good match with Randy Savage. He's phenomenal. I'd have a better match with Terry Funk. Jerry Lawler, all those guys. Like, it's tough. You're asking me what food I want to eat at a smorgasbord. But uh, Terry Funk, Jerry Lawler and Randy Savage. Does that make you happy, John? Awesome. And Tyson, you got the pizza, right? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> free pizza! <laughs> I'm gonna eat that pizza before I drive. Oh, oh, I can't even see it there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Did you touch all the pizza? No. Nope. Okay, I, I didn't wash my hands after grabbing those cans, but I'm gonna eat the pizza anyway. That's okay. Don't That's judge me. We'll see Sorry. Slash. I had to take a detour, a big accident. Oh boy. home it is 12 28 a.m not crazy and not crazy late and i don't have to wake up crazy early i'm gonna wake up probably about you know 6 30 in the morning i plan to go to the lake this weekend i play with hank you know tons of great people at the show um it was awesome to see like brian jewel come hang out in the back uh i didn't get to say hi to mr twister i hope you see this mr twister hello brother um i've seen lots of fans you know i haven't seen in a long time it's great to see everybody Thank you guys for your support. Hey, thanks to the people that bought three of my shirts. You are phenomenal. Now I'm going to have to cut this off so I can edit the vlog right away and get it up by 3 a.m. Peace out. A very special thank you. Shadow Extreme. So to try and help.
help Rob Stardom gather 500 subscribers to his channel, we're giving away a replica championship belt you can't buy anywhere in Canada or anywhere in the States just yet. It is the brand new AEW TNT Championship, and we're giving this to Rob Stardom to give away to one of his fans. Welcome to Primo's Collectibles at 1841 Portage Avenue. We have everything you'd like to look for for Pokemon, Fortnite, Call of Duty, video game, Hot Wheels, AEW Superstars and Championship Belts, Star Trek and Star Wars, Pinball Machines and Arcades, Marvel Legends, and more. We're open seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. We are your one-stop destination for custom championship belts, wrestling t-shirts, and much more. You can find us at www.primoscollectibles.com and use the code STARDOM for 25% off most purchases. <laughs>